Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this session, I will explain the adipose tissue, one of the special connective tissue in our body. At first, at first we have two prefix, lipo, uh, one, the lipo uh, is the prefix for a, a adipose or fat tissue. If you wear uh, this uh, prefix somewhere, it's uh, returned to the adipose tissue. For example, liposuction, liposites, uh, all of them refer to the adipose tissue. Fat also, you know, is again uh, adipose or is a of, uh, referred to the adipose tissue. You can see here we have uh, adipose tissue under on the skins. Uh, this, uh, in this tissue, the adipocyte or the adipose cells uh, predominate and because of this we called it adipose tissue or a special connective tissue. The majority of cells are fat cells. First start the function of the adipose tissue. It's the largest uh, repository of energy in our body. As you know this uh, uh, tissue store the fat as the energy in our body and uh, uh, store or accumulate the fat in the form of triglyceride as a form of triglyceride uh, and you know the one uh, grams of triglyceride produce 9.3 kilocalorie energy for us and the question here is the why our body uh, save the energy in our body as a, a triglyceride. Uh, why, our, why don't our body uh, store the lipid, uh, store a glyco, uh, gly glucose or protein in our body instead of the triglyceride? You know the protein and the carbohydrate is better than the triglyceride. It means the consumption of uh, the consumption of uh, the carbohydrates and also the protein is better than the uh, triglyceride. Uh, one of them is the um, caloric density, high caloric density of uh, uh, triglyceride. You can see it's about twice the, that of it's uh, twice that of the protein and also uh, in the triglyceride is twice. Uh, and rather than the uh, protein and also carbohydrate. And another important factor is we can uh, store the lipids in our body without osmotic effect on cells. You know, for example, the cells start to storage the protein or carbohydrate with low concentration is okay, but with high concentration of carbohydrate and protein, this protein and carbohydrate produced osmotic concentration and start to absorb water inside of the cells. So cause the swelling of the cells and rupturing and bursting of the cell and kill the cell. So uh, the trigger is like be, uh, because it's a, uh, it's a hydrophobe, doesn't absorb uh, water inside of the cells and doesn't create osmotic and pressure inside of the cells. Because of that, our body preferred to stretch the lipid inside of the cells instead of protein and lipid. The another function is the uh, contributes to thermal insulation. You know the lipid uh, conduct the heat poorly, so provide a thermal insulation, uh, uh, thermal insulation in our body, especially under our skins, doesn't allow the exchange of heat between our body and also the uh, peripheral uh, airs. 
and the last function fills a space between the structures, between the organs, between the other tissues, for example, between the, uh, between the muscle cells, uh, filled usually by the adipose tissue. And uh, some place in our body, especially the places, uh, is subjected to mm-hmm. mechanical uh, stress, uh, repeated mechanical stress, for example, the soles and palms. Uh, here, uh, the fat tissue uh, accumulated in this place as a pad, and this pad function as a cushion, uh, function as a shock absorber, uh, and uh, prevent our body from uh, this repeating mechanic mechanical stress. Let me clean this part. Like other connective tissue, adipose tissue also originated from the mesenchymal tissue. You can see here the mesenchymal stem cell or mesenchymal cells differentiated into the adipose cells or adipocytes, but creating two kind of adipocyte cells. The first one, these cells, uh, storage or store the, all of the lipids inside of one uh, vesicle on one granule or in one cavity or in single huge droplets. And the, another cell you can see uh, stored uh, in the, the multi droplets. This cell called white adipocyte or unilocular fat cell, and this cell called brown adipocyte or multi locular fat cell. Why we say unilocular and multi locular? Loculum is, you know, means a cavity. But here we have a droplets, we have a granules, but uh, why we said locular? Because we, when we want to see a tissue under the microscope, you know uh, we have a tissue processing and at the, at the end we have a sectioning. Yes, by the sectioning and also by the tissue processing, the lipid inside of this droplets dissolved by a fat solvent like alcohol and xylen we use in tissue processing. This uh, solvent usually dissolve the lipid inside of the uh, these droplets and remove the lipid from these uh, granules and usually just we have a cavity without lipid. lipid. Uh, so we called unilocular and multilocular. We have many cavity inside of this cell and one cavity inside of uh, this uh, white adipocyte. You can see a real picture from a white adipocyte or white adipose tissue. You see the cells are polyhedral cell and you can see the nucleus of the cells in the peripheral uh, location because the huge droplet displacing and also flattening the nucleus against the cell membrane and usually other organs also uh, um, we have the other organs around this nucleus and the all part of cytoplasm occupied by a, a lipid droplets <coughs> We see also the color of the adipose tissue in white in the sectioning, but in the fresh adipose tissue also we have a whitish to yellow color. The, it depends on the uh, carotenoids, the amount of carotenoid, uh, carotenoid in this uh, tissue. Um, uh, with high carotenoid concentration, uh, it gets yellow, 
and with low concentration it get white. Again another picture from the adipose tissue. In this tissue uh, they preserve extracellular matrix uh, very well. You can see the extracellular matrix around uh, these cells. You can see peripheral nucleus and one big droplets of lipid inside of the cell also in this picture. Again the picture from the adipocyte cell with peripheral nucleus. We said the uh, appearance of the white adipocyte cells is very similar to the signet ring, especially when uh, we remove the lipid by uh, alcohol or xylol, we can see a empty cavity inside of the cell. It's very similar to this ring. So we call the cells of uh, adipose, uh, white adipose, uh, adipose tissue signet ring cell. Uh, after differentiation, uh, the white adipocyte cell start to a stretch start to store the uh, lipid inside of multi droplets and after we call this cell preadipocyte then this cell uh, accumulate all of the droplets in one big droplets and you can see this uh, big droplet displays and flattening displacing and flattening the nucleus against the cell membrane and all of the part of cytoplasm occupied by this and big droplets. In this time, we call mature adipocyte. The white adipocyte cells accumulate the lipid inside of the cells and uh, what is the source of this lipid? We have three sources for these uh, lipids. The first one and the important one uh, comes from the, our intestine after eating a fatty uh, nutrient and the, our intestinal epithelial cells absorbs this fat and they create the chylomicrons and then these chylomicrons transfer to the uh, fat tissue and the adipocyte taken to and store inside of uh, take it and in, uh, store inside of the uh, droplets. Uh, most of the chylomicrons goes to the liver and hydrolyze and break down and convert it to the uh, other type of lipid, VLDL, HDL, and also LDL. And uh, also the another source is this kind of uh, lipids. Cells again take these uh, lipids and store inside of droplets. And the last source is the uh, glucose. The cell again take a glucose from the blood and convert it to glycerol and uh, store it uh, inside of uh, the cell as a triglyceride. You can see the shape of different uh, kind of uh, lipid in our body, chylomicrons, VLDL, LDL, H, uh, and HDL. Uh, you can see the size of chylomicrons big and HDL is a, a small. We call the HDL as a good lipid and the VLDL as a bad lipid uh, because the L HDL have a high amount of proteins and the VLDL and chylomicrons have a, a little amount of uh, proteins, mostly uh, consists of lipids, it's mostly consists of proteins. You can see a section from also maybe from the VLDL, you can see the proteins, phospholipids, and also closer and triglyceride inside of these lipids. In this uh, figure, you see uh, one adipocyte and also a section from a capillary. When the lipids as a chylomicron and VLDL arrives the, in the capillary of the adipose tissue, these uh, lipids hydrolyzed by an enzyme 
inside of the capillary uh, as uh, called lipoprotein lipase. And uh, this uh, lipids hydrolyze and break down to the fatty acid. Fatty acid uh, easily uh, cross and pass through the f fat cell. Then fat cell take these uh, fatty acids and join them with the uh, glycerol. You can see the again adipocyte take a glucose from the blood, convert to the glycerol and uh, one glycerol with a uh, three fat, uh, fatty acid produced three glyceride and store it inside of the cell and when we need energy for example in the midday or in the noon after uh, you eat a breakfast in the morning in the noon you need energy so your uh, body stimulates the autoimmune system, especially the sympathetic systems. And the sympathetic system produces a neurotransmitter like norepinephrine, norepinephrine. And norepinephrine stimulate a, an enzyme inside of the adipocyte cells called the hormone sensitive lipase. And this enzyme breaks down the fatty acid here and uh, hydrolyze them again to the glycerol and the fatty acid or break down them again to the this um, component and this component again come to the blood and transfer to the organs that need uh, energy. Our uh, adipose tissue can regulate our body weight. For example, after eating a uh, fatty diet, fatty nutrient, fatty food, uh, our adipose cells start to uh, storage the or accumulate the fatty inside of the cells. So you can see the cell get big. With increasing the size of, uh, size of the cells, the cells start to produce a hormones like leptin. The leptin uh, in the blood start to increase and the, le uh, the level of the leptin increase inside of the blood and comes to the hypothalamus and affect, affect the hypothalamus and uh, in response hypothalamus decrease our appetite. So we cannot eat anything until our body consume all of the lipids or all of the energy inside of the cells and decrease the size of the cells. When the size of the cells decrease, again the level of the leptin inside of our blood decrease and so uh, we, our appetite again back return and we can eat some things. Here you can see two, uh, two mice one of them have a, a normal uh, adipose tissue and the another one have adipose tissue uh, with uh, some mutation in a leptin genes so this mouse cannot produce a leptin you can see uh, this mouse have a overweight the another uh, tissue, adipose tissue in our body is the brown adipose tissue or bat. You can see the color of the, this uh, tissue is uh, brown, unlike the white adipose tissue have a white, I said white tissue to yellow. We have this brown adipose tissue in the body of this cute baby, of human baby and also in giant animal like a bear. Especially in the hibernating uh, mammals, we have uh, this kind of uh, adipose tissue. You know the hibernating uh, mammals spend uh, all of the winter uh, in a sleeping situation, especially uh, under or on the the snow without feeling of uh, cold and also this baby because was born 
naked and doesn't have any clothes, the God put this adipose tissue in his, in his or her body to protect them from the cold. It means the adipose tissue produce heat in our body without uh, shivering. You can see in the human baby, we have this adipose tissue around the neck, around the shoulder, and also in, uh, in the back, around the out artery, and also you can, we have also some around our kidney. It means we have this adipose tissue around our vital organs, especially around our um, chest, because in the chest we have um, our heart. A heart in our body acts as a heating room in the building. The blood comes to the heart and get warm by this adipose tissue and then distributed in, uh, throughout our body and warm the other part of our body. The cells of brown uh, fats uh, are uh, smaller than the adip white adipose tissue and also they uh, store the fat in a smaller droplets or in the multi droplets. The brown fat cells also have high amount of mitochondria higher number of the mitochondria and also more capillary than the white uh, fat. The color of the also the fresh brown fat uh, or the brown color of this fat is uh, related to the number of the mitochondria and also the capillary. High amount of capillary and mitochondria give a brown appearance to this fat. You see a cell, brown fat cell, Unlike the uh, white uh, adipose cell, you can see a central position of the nucleus. And also you can see uh, this cell have a directly synap uh, synap with a nervous system with a nerve, direct synaptic innervation. But in the white uh, adipose tissue, uh, we have indirect. I mean, the cells have a distance, have a spa there is a space between the nerve and also the cells. It's the indirect synaptic innervation in a white. Uh, and also the cell I told uh, is smaller than the white adipose cells. And also, the brown adipose tissue develop earlier than the white. And uh, now we want to know how do the mitochondria produce heat in the brown adipose tissue. You see in this picture, the brown adipose cells have a high amount of mitochondria, high uh, number of the mitochondria inside of the cells and uh, this mitochondria produce heat inside of the cell. Now we want to know how do the mitochondria produce the heat. First, you can see a, a figure from the mitochondria. Each mitochondria have a two membrane, outer membrane and inner membrane, and also the inter uh, membrane space between two membrane and the uh, matrix uh, inside of the uh, mitochondria. Let's magnify this part. You can see a picture like this outer mitochondrial membrane, outer, uh, outer mitochondrial membrane, and inner mitochondrial membrane. Between two uh, membranes, we have intermembranous space. In the other cells, <coughs> usually we have uh, two groups of protein. The one groups are called electron transporting units. They usually transfer the uh, proton from the matrix to the intermembranous space and increase the concentration of the proton in this space. And the, another uh, groups of proteins are called ATP synthetase complex. Mm -hmm. And this complex, by flow of proton, produce the ATP. 
But in the adipose, the brown adipose tissue, we have another group of protein called thermogenin or uncoupling protein 1, UCP1. Usually, uh, in these cells, in brown adipose cells, proton follow this pathway inside of these proteins. And uh, the consumption of the proton here produces the heat. By this heat, the mitochondria get warm, and the warm mitochondria warm the cells and mm. ultimately uh, warm the blood, and at the end, the blood warm our body. You see a real section from the brown adipose tissue. You can see multi droplet inside of the cell, and it's also the central position of the nucleus inside of the cell. Again, with mm -hmm. magnification, mm -hmm. you can see the nucleus in the central position and multi droplets. And you can also see uh, electron micro, uh, microscope pictures from this cell, the nucleus, droplets, fat droplets, and a lot of mitochondria inside of the cell. Adipose tissue also can produce a tumor in our body for the benign tumor called lipoma and for a malignant tumor called liposacroma. Especially here, you can see a liposacroma in the axillary area of this person. Also, the brown adipose tissue can produce a benign tumor called hibernoma. Recently, the <coughs> scientists also discovered a, another kind of t uh, adipose tissue in our body called bright or beige adipocyte. These cells, uh, by properties, uh, are between the brown and white uh, adipocytes. I mean, they uh, store the lipids in multi droplets. They have also some UCP1 proteins, and they can easily differentiate it to the white adipocyte cells and also differentiate to the brown adipocytes. During the cold adaptations, for example, in the winter, if we, doesn't, uh, if we don't wear a lot of clothes, we can change uh, or differentiate these adipocyte cells to the brown adipocyte cells. And with a high nutri uh, nutritional intake, also we can and uh, also differentiate this cell to the white adipocyte cells. Especially in a cold adaptations, we stimulate the, our auto, um, uh, auto nervous systems, so like a sympathetic or presympathetic, and the auto nervous systems uh, in response stimulate and uh, increase the differentiation of uh, beige adipocyte cells to the brown adipocyte, uh, brown adipocytes, and also prevent the apoptosis, apoptosis of these cells. Both of them increase the uh, brown adipocyte in our body. Again, the another picture you can see called uh, stimulate or sympathetic neurons, and sympathetic neurons increase the differentiation of beige to the brown fat cells. Two pictures from the adipocyte tissue. Right is a white and the left is brown. We can see and differences between two tissue. Usually the, uh, the color in the white is uh, white. Here you can see somehow brown to red and you see a large cell, polyhedral cell in the white, but here we mostly have a, a somehow round cell. Central nucleus, here we have a peripheral mm -hmm. nucleus. And at the end, uh, and this is like I said, uh, if we regulate the, our nutritional intake and also the energy expenditure, we can 
have a normal adipose tissue in our body. It will see and exist.